我係講，我希望。我希望想同大家講點解我哋要紀念六四同埋支持香港支聯會嘅六四紀念館。I want to share with you why we need to support Hong Kong Alliance and support the efforts of Hong Kong June Fourth Museum。大家都知道我係六四屠殺嘅見證人。As you know, I'm a witness of the June Fourth Tiananmen Square massacre. 我當時係一個香港嘅學生 ，then I was a Hong Kong student， 亦都係一個，亦都係香港前學聯嘅上京嘅代表團嘅成員。And while I was one of the delegates from the Hong Kong College and Universities Student Federations， 點解我哋要支持六四紀念館 ？Why should we support June Fourth Museum？ 我而家就由幾個人話俾大家聽，點解我哋一定要支持六四紀念館 ？I'm going to use a few people's narratives to strengthen and illustrate why we need to support。一九八九年六月四號接近凌晨嘅時候 ，1989 June 4th in the early hours of June 4th， 軍用嘅信號彈開始係劃破天安門廣場嘅上空。The fire, crack, the the bullets start firing in the sky of Tiananmen Square. Changan 大街開始遠處有槍聲。There were we can hear on Chang'an Street the bullets that are coming from afar. 喺槍聲之中，一個老工人，老淚中橫咁樣。係勸年青嘅工人放低你哋嘅玻璃樽，放低你哋嘅石頭。我哋係和平請願，我哋要堅持到最後一刻。In the midst of all the bullets, an old worker in his in tears was begging the students to drop the and what he was saying is drop the bottles, drop any weapons. We have to persist and determine to. Stay non-violent until the very end. 凌晨过后，枪声越嚟越紧。After midnight, the bullet noises becomes even more frequent. 开始有死伤者系抬到去历史博物馆嘅临时救伤站。Bodies were being cut over to the the emergency stations next to the China's History Museum. 一个大学生。佢嘅後頸被打到一片血肉模糊。One university student, the back of his head scalded, had been shredded into pieces by the bullets. 佢剩翻個頭喺度搖喺度叫。All he had was the head shaking and screaming. 唔好放棄，堅持到底，堅持到底，堅持下去，不要放棄。What he was saying, never give up, never give up, let's persist. Never give up. 冇幾耐，有一個初中生，美多做呢個初中初中生。Not too long after, a secondary school high school student. 佢攞住嚿石頭，衝想衝向解放軍。She picked. He picked up a a a rock and want to rush to the People's Liberation Army. 他拿着一塊石頭要衝向解放軍，他在叫，為什麼？他說。我哥哥俾他们打死了，我哥哥俾他们打死了，我跟他们，我跟他们拼啊！我哥哥俾佢打死咗啦，我要同佢哋搏命。He was screaming at that time, why? My older brother has been killed by you guys. Why? I'm gonna use my life to take revenge. 我用尽全身嘅气力抱住佢，我用尽我全身的力气把他抱住。我说小兄弟啊，不行啊，危险啊 ！I use all my strength. To restrain him from rushing forward, and I keep telling him, "Don't do that, little brother. Don't." 有一个跟住有救救伤车嚟将佢个哥哥抬走。Then an ambulance came in and removed his older brother. 佢跟住架救伤车一路走一路喊哥哥啊哥哥啊，他跟着那个救护车一一一边叫一边说哥哥啊哥哥啊。As and then he rushed. This little brother rushed, following. The ambulance and just keep shouting, 
my brother, my brother. Half an hour later on Chang'an Street, he was carted back with in full blood. Half an hour later, this little brother was carried back to Chang'an Street by six civilians. He could no longer speak because his mouth was full of blood. As the hours go on, the situations worsen. It's important right now for Hong Kong students who are here from Hong Kong to to be aware during those those moments, the first priority of the Beijing citizens were to protect. Hong Kong students. The ambulance go back and forth to bring all these those who were injured or dead to the hospitals. Every time an ambulance passes by, the citizens in Beijing with the ordinary citizens would just say, shout out. Let the Hong Kong students go up to the ambulance first. They were shouting, let Hong Kong students go up, get up to the ambulance and leave Tiananmen Square. 我跟另外一个同学坚决地不要向救护车,可是有一个中年的女的医生 Myself and another friend who was with me deadly refused, saying no, let the injured go first 他抓着我的手,一个女的医生抓着我的手跟我说 Then a middle-aged woman doctor grabs my hand and speaks to me 孩子啊,你一定要上救护车,你要平安的离开天安门广场,你要回到香港,告诉全世界的人,我们的政府今天做了些什么,是怎么样对待我们这些手无穿贴的人民。And chose my hand and say, Dear child, you have to get on the ambulance. You need to leave Tiananmen Square and arrive safely in Hong Kong to let the world know what happened today, to let the world know that what our government has done to those of us, those citizens of Beijing who have no weapons, and we were just peacefully demonstrating. For the past 27 years, I so wish I could forget this nightmare. 但我不可以二十七年來,我將呢段記憶緊緊的捆綁住我自己的人生。This for the last 27 years, this memory has so intertwined with my whole life. 呢個大學生,呢個初中生,呢個老嘅工人,呢個女醫生。我記住佢哋嘅面容,我記住佢哋嘅聲音。for the last 27 years, I remember the university student, his younger brother, the high school student, the older worker, 
and the middle-aged women doctors. I remember their face, I remember their expressions, I even remember the warmth of that high school student. I so wish I could have their names so I could remember. But these are the nameless heroes and heroines. The only name that the Chinese government has granted them is the terrorist, the violent provocateurs. This is why we need to know and remember the truth of June 4th, Tiananmen Square. Let's raise the, the black arm banner. This black ribbon is to commemorate and remember those who were fallen on June 4th, 1989. I urge you to use the black ribbon and tie it closely to your heart and make sure you would always remember what happened. This back ribbon would also remind us of the darkest day in the history of China. This is to remind the Chinese government, the Communist Party, that no matter how great your economy might be, what you have done is a dark mark and a black mark in the history of the world. In the eyes of humanity, you are always a black spot. This yellow ribbon represents our hope, represents the voice of our conscience, and represents our hope for the future. This Black, uh, yellow ribbon also represents the flame that was lit during the candlelight vigil in Hong Kong. That the flame, it's up to all of us to keep it going. Let's hold our yellow and black ribbons together. Let's hold it dear and close to our hearts. We will never forget those who have fallen on June 4th, 1989. We will never forget the crimes inflicted by the Chinese government.
We will never retreat. We will never forget. We'll move forward with the hope of all the people around the world that keep the candlelight, that keep our flames for human rights going. Ping Fang Liu Shi. Ping Fang Liu Shi. Vindicate June 4th. Never forget June 4th massacre. Never forget June 4th massacre. Ping Fang Liu Shi. Ping Fang Liu Shi. Never forget June 4th massacre. Never forget human rights in China. Human rights in China. Thank you, everyone.